Hello, hello everybody. And we got, it's been a, it's been a while since I've done a update on the pond. Everyone likes seeing the pond videos. So, and I think the last video I made on it, I got rid of all the algae. Redid some planting. And so some of it's good, some of it's bad. But one thing I didn't do was trim these impatience. So before we go any further, I'm going to get these things under control. They're blocking out the light. Then we'll talk some more about this pond. Alright, so we got that taken care of. Not a lot of fun, let me tell you. I almost filled up the entire five gallon bucket all the way down to the bottom. There's nothing in here but impatient trimmings. <laughs> That's it. Whole five gallon bucket full of them. Pretty wild stuff. Okay, so now that I've done that, I went ahead and dosed hydrogen peroxide. I talked about that a number of times. Because I get algae growing on the side walls and then it ends up taking over and getting in the plants. So, on the spots on the sides where it was really bad, I spot treated it just a, probably a minute and a half ago. I was finishing that up, so if we sit here and look at that, you can see it isn't. And that's the algae. That'll really stop that. As you can see, we got some pretty cool different looking fish in here. Mom. There's still some leaves in here and my kid just come in here hollering mom. So, <laughs> there's that. I did put some val in here and now my new thing is every time I try to transplant val, it melts to nothing but seems to come back so we'll see so i was looking forward to getting a bunch of val going in here so we'll see if that ends up taking off or not i left some of the moss in there that wasn't completely consumed with her algae and it's looking good it's, it's spread and grown back the mermaid weeds slowly coming back of course the ludwigia Looks good as always, and that underneath that bright light turns a nice red. And then that's the trim job we've done. It's funny, since obviously these impatience are completely engorged in water when you cut them. They just bleed water. I know last time I done this they bled water for days. Then eventually they start coming back. But the last time I done this, when I cut it all down like that, is when we got a bunch of algae problems. So I'm gonna have to really stay on top of that. Because when you do that, all them great big plants sucking up all them nutrients. And that's how the pond became balanced. And now that all that is not there, it's, uh, you know, going to be out of whack for a bit, probably. So we're going to be fighting algae, I'm sure. So we got to take care of that. Let's see if we can get some good views of some of these. But my lines have not been producing a whole lot of fry as of late. But there are so much fry in here. You guys, I have a heater in there. You can see it's an old Eheim 300 watt heater, but it's only set at like 70 degrees, so it only kicks on in the winter. I just put that in there to keep it from getting too crazy. There had been a bunch of shrimp in here, and they're still, I mean, obviously they're still in there, but there's not a whole lot out right now. So you can see. But, we got going on in here. 
And I guess it, another thing I haven't really talked about a whole lot is my 75 gallon with the red shrimp and the plecos. I've been slowly phase getting all the brown bristlenose plecos out. And they were going in here and eventually hoping to get that tank for it's mostly just albinos so they're separated and making sense a little more but there are some also little I saw a couple little baby albino pluckers in here the other day so that guy right there has made some babies <laughs> that fella Lots of interesting fish in here, that's for sure. Let's see if we can find. There's all kinds of little dark pluckos in here. There's a couple. There's a little one. Let's see. Stand up here and Bunches of little plecos. Of course, I say that, and they're all hiding now. So, that's what's going on in inside Guppy Pond. Look at this guy right here. Oh, where are you at? Look at the colors on that. Some red mosaic coals it looks like. They might be a mix of something else. Let's take a look at some of the fish in here. Lots of young fish in here. Of course, I have been hitting my guppy tanks real hard with Levamisol. Due to the lack of fry production, I am suspecting some kind of the never ending internal parasite battle with the new line guppies. <laughs> Seems like you're always fighting. I think it's always present. And that these new lines are just more susceptible to having issues. That's my theory. Some of these lines, these old red mosaic lines I got, they don't ever get in the Japan blue lines, they never have any problems. You can tell sometimes I get it, but they don't have problems. But the new ones do. So these are all wild and lots of Japan blue, lots of Inler, lots of red mosaic and Japan blue old tough lines all mixed together so these guys just keep on making fry even if there are some issues going on <laughs> but I think I have that remedied now they've been hit with Vamisol three weeks in a row and they got a double dose last weekend and a single dose this weekend and a single dose the weekend before so, I don't even bought more of the So there's that. Let's take a look at some of the other guppies. Oh, but we gotta look at these first. Oh my god. Oh, focus. It's not gonna focus for me. So 100 and some super red bristlenose pluckos looks like. That's a pretty cool thing to see, I think. Pretty awesome. Looks like the yolk sacs are about gone. I'll probably put a couple algae wafers in there for them tonight. But I don't think they're quite ready yet. I think they'll be ready to eat by. Tuesday is my best guess. 
that was so many in here yeah you can see there's a little bit of a yolk sack still on them so pray out my wife I gotta leave for work in the morning so again these little beauties will be in my wife's hands she helps out a lot okay I was gonna talk about some guppies alright you got all these young here in mosaics that are maturing I'm gonna have to go through and start calling these guys they're getting mature enough let's see what else has been catching my eye lately of course the king koi's are always a hit Some of these look like they should be having for eye pretty soon. That was not a good one. It don't even have a red spot on its head, but I didn't get rid of it yet. I'm still waiting on these guys to get going. So, um, not to the calling stage yet with these guys. These guys are a challenge. Getting them acclimated to not living in a pond in Asia where the water's 85 90 degrees every day so these guys have been a challenge and I think um eventually gonna win the battle <laughs> but it's a challenge and I really let's take a look at some of these girls we got it from Valley Fish I had to change my light on these on this tank All these girls, still nebulous. They're all damn good, but I've really been impressed with these Japan blues lately. I'm really digging how this line's looking. Look at this double sword tail. Like, these guys are pretty freaking nice. I'm really enjoying this line quite a bit lately. Quite a bit. Okay. Oh. And here's an interesting observation with the pandas. These are almost all boys. <laughs> so I'm getting a lot more boys and girls. I have to go through and add some panda jeans to the koi or the koi to the coal pond that'd be cool getting some panda gene genetics in there it's hard to hard to tell some of them are kind of young to, there's one in here has like stripes or something on its tail if I can find it again I've seen it a while back must have some kind of I'm not sure what in it. I think I got at least a couple of young females in here. I still got four breeder females. They're my breeding male. But I cannot believe all these fry had turned out to be stinking boys. Yeah, almost all of them. They're right, some of them younger ones might be girls, but. Alright. Oh. That's all. Just some guppy pawn stuff. There's a cool, really. Carbon, really. Nicole's. Cool stuff. Alright, everybody. Thank y'all for watching. Bye.